Hey map fans, model citizens. This video will show you how to make your own toolbox in ArcGIS. And if you're following along with the playlist, thanks very much for that. If you're not, then please check it out. So these videos will all stack together to get you modeling, not in the fashion sense, but in the really geeky sense. So, Let's make ourselves a toolbox and you can do this in Arc, which is quite fun. You will have seen toolboxes over here and how's about making your own? Brilliant. So I'm going to open up catalog, clicked on here and our catalog is now open. In the previous video, we looked at connecting folders and this is where my project folder is, timber sales. So I'm just going to drop that down and everything we need is in here. And if you're going to make a tool, we can right click and go to new and toolbox. And there it is. Now I'm going to give this one a slightly odd name because I'd like it to rise to the top of my available toolboxes. So I'll start with an underscore and then call it demo. There it is. Now that our toolbox is available, I am going to close our catalog. And you'll notice that our toolbox is not yet showing in Arc Toolbox, and that's because we need to tell ArcGIS where it is. So with Arc Toolbox open, and don't forget you can open Arc Toolbox with that button. And if we go over to the toolbox, right click and then add toolbox. We'll be able to add the toolbox that we just created, underscore demo.tvx, there it is. We'll open that up. Arc's gonna think for a little while and there's our toolbox. Now you'll notice there's no little plus sign next to it. That means that our toolbox is currently empty. So to put something in it, if we right click on our new toolbox and go to new, then we can add a model. When the model opens up, it is blank and the first thing we'll do is set some properties for it so if we go over to model and then go to our model properties we can set it up and for the name now this model is going to buffer some things, so I'm going to call it buffer intersect. Now with the name, it's important that we don't have any special characters in there. So just text, no spaces, nothing like that. And that's because the name is what ArcGIS will use to call it programmatically. With the label, we can get a little more inventive. I'm going to go really out there and call it buffer and intersect model and we can add a little description as well so what is this model going to do it's going to create buffers and then intersects to get acres of features and don't worry all of that will become clear once we actually build our model now I'm also going to check this button, store relative path names. Now if you're not clear on what relative path names or absolute path names are, get in touch via the comments and I will happily go through that with you because it is quite an important thing to understand. It's just a, a useful thing to understand. But we're going to check that and store our relative path names. Okay, so our model properties are set and I'm going to close it. It will ask us if we'd like to save our model. It's been modified. Yes, we'd like to save it. And now you can see our model has appeared within our toolbox. Brilliant. Now our toolbox is full. Well, we've got one model in it. And one thing that we could do as well is ask ArcGIS to actually load this toolbox every time we open it. So we can do that by right clicking on the toolbox and going to save and save to default. Now the idea behind this is that next time we open our cup, it should load our new underscore demo toolbox automatically. So I'm going to save that to default. There we go. And so next time we open it up, 
uh, underscore demo toolbox should load. Now you may have noticed that in this series we have not yet done any modeling. Don't worry, that's coming soon. Uh, subscribe and then you'll be able to see the new videos as they come out and the next one we are going to get modeling. Happy mapping!